In this video, we're going to learn about patch fitting. The Cloudworks Fit Patch Tool will create a flat plane patch, and these patches are typically used for walls and floors. There are two methods used to create a patch in Cloudworks. Convex hole patch is a method that creates a polyface mesh. There may be many faces, but they will appear on the same plane. This type of patch will never have a concave boundary, but will use the outer points as the perimeter. Minimum rectangle patch creates a single 3D face in which the boundary will be the smallest rectangle that can fit all the points within it. It should be noted that this rectangle may not align to the coordinate system. Let's use the clipping tools to isolate a wall face. This will help remove parts of the cloud that are not needed to be visible so we can focus on the area to fit the patch. Once we have the wall isolated and are viewing the wall straight on, we can start the patch fitting tool by clicking the patch button in the fitters panel. The RMS root mean square error is how well the computed patch fits the point cloud. When Cloudworks computes the best fit plane, the RMS value reports the average separation of the points from the plane. If the clip point cloud is flat and smooth, then using a low RMS value is possible. But if the point cloud is rough and uneven and a low RMS is used, then the plane may not be able to be computed. We then have the choice to pick or fence the reference point cloud. Using pick, we select points around the area that best defines the surface and the patch is calculated with those points. Using fence, we can choose a polygon, circle, or rectangle to define the surface. The default is rectangular, so to choose the other options, you must type in P or C in the command line. After we create the patch, we will see it appear as a white polyline. You also notice the standard deviation reported in the command line. We can view this as a solid simply by changing the view in AutoCAD.